gentlemen, one and all, humble members of the TSC family, mellow greetings, good day, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Ao Oni, episode number 13, recording this on a Friday, yes indeed, Friday the 13th, goody, together with your equally humble host known as the Shadow Cookie. When we last left off, you know, I could talk about how both Hiroshi and Takuro attempted to escape by climbing a random rope ladder they discovered. I could also talk about how tragic it was that the blue demon ate the ladder before we could use it, killing the weakened Takuro who lacked the ability to run away as a result of his injured leg mere seconds afterwards. Every single friend I used to have, dead. Needless to say, that I am currently a victim of great despair. The Ao Oni has ruined my life. That's it. Nothing in my life is the same anymore. Music doesn't sound the same. My fingers cannot sense warmth or cold. Food doesn't taste like anything anymore. And, on top of all that, <coughs> I've been searching once again for at least 30 goddamn minutes already. Yes indeed, I have been searching, desperately trying to figure out what exactly I must do next. The play chart, the lighter, the screwdriver, the light bulb, I didn't know what to do with any of them. Took another look at the annex basement, the annex itself, the ordinary basement, and so on and so forth. Nothing! Not a single locked door to use the most recent key on. Bloody backdoor key and everything. Getting chased around by Onis, running about like a headless chicken. And then... After random trial and error combine everything with everything inside shenanigans, I finally discovered the solution. <laughs> uh, just observe. Don't ask questions. Observe. Please, I beg of you all. Observe, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Before I lose it. Uh, first, 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 first we must return into one of the two wooden figurine chambers within the annex. The chamber of the doll which whose head fell off. Or whose head fell off, I don't care. Let's go there. <laughs> Leave me alone. I, I don't want any of your nonsense. I don't want any of your trouble. <laughs> <laughs> He got me. I am pretty sure he got me. Oh, he didn't get me. Thank God. I don't care. I so don't care anymore. How is anybody supposed to figure this shit out? How is anybody supposed to... It's kind of obvious once you stumble upon it, but... Until that happens, it is not obvious at all. I've been searching for over 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That felt like 30 years. Ugh, getting back on track. Let me reach the figurine chamber. It's all I am asking before I murder somebody. So far, so good. We are quite, quite done down here, believe it or not. We are done with the annex basement. Nothing left down here, nothing at all. Unless I'll need to return here eventually. Almost there. Almost bloody there. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Now take a random guess. 
What must I do in here? What must I combine with what? See, one of the issues I have within games such as these is the following. Whenever I solve a puzzle, I tend to not think about it anymore, right? <coughs> because the puzzle has been solved. There is no reason to think about it anymore. Right? Right? Wrong! Turns out, this very headless figurine still serves a purpose. What kind of purpose? The kind of purpose no ordinary mortal individual would ever think of. How about this? Screw the light bulb into the socket where the head used to be. Yes. Your eyes are not deceiving you. This is the solution. I could have done this before I first entered the Annex even. But why would anybody think of doing this? Combine the light bulb with the wooden figurine? What? Look at this! It's nonsensical. It's stupid. It doesn't make any goddamn sense whatsoever. <laughs> uh, and that's not even all. Now that the light bulb has been inserted into the wooden figurine, we shall turn off the lights by flipping the switch. And it does that. It switches the light bulb within the wooden figurine on, and thanks to the other doll casts a shadow onto this very spot on the wall. And why does it cast a shadow onto that spot? You know what happens with that spot? Use the plate shot! A hidden door! I can only suspend my disbelief so much before it collapses in on itself. This is moon logic. Who'd think of doing this? Let me ask you. <sighs> there are of course only so many possibilities. Sooner or later you might think about combining the figurine with the um, light bulb. But when would you ever do that kind of thing in real life? You would never do this kind of thing. You... you wouldn't even... Uh, you'd never guess. You'd never make the connection, but here we are. Uh, uh, my brain, my nerves, my sanity. They are all gone. All dead. Soon they'll turn into more Ao Onis to chase me around. Is this the back door I've been searching for? After I first solved this puzzle, I didn't save because I once again decided to show it off, more or less blindly. <sighs> the moment of truth. Is this the proper door? Not just a secret easter egg door. Is this the back door? Can I escape now? It is the back door of the house. We can finally leave at long, long, long last. I am outside. I can't hear my own voice. The rain, it is so loud. So incredibly loud. I can see trees. I am fenced in, apparently, by strange pillars everywhere. Stone pillars. But I don't care. I don't care. Let's get the fuck out of here.
Where in the holy name of the Lord am I now? I walked through a small outdoor section surrounded by pillars that refused to allow me to escape and now I am here standing within the corridor of an entirely different building? Another old building? Does this ever end? Am I forced to wander abandoned structures until the end of time itself? Ugh. More keys are needed. Are the Ao Onis here too? Is this where they came from? Uh. I can hide. Within this room I can hide. Looks very old indeed. Moldy walls. And etc. 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 A black carpet. More furniture. All of my friends have passed away. And I am about to follow in their footsteps. There is no point. There is no point in going on. Uh, good day, Mr. Chair. You are following me everywhere, aren't you? The only friend I still got. I kind of understand now why people call you Mr. Chair. Because they tend to be all alone. They need to make mo 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 moon speak. They need to make new friends in order to keep their sanity alive. Uh, a doorless um, opening here. The door has been removed. A hole going downstairs. Pick your poison. A church. A small chapel. Whatever you call it. A church. A place of divine energies. A place of God. Worship of the holy heavens above. Angels. Cherubs and seraphims? A church here? Were these people devil worshippers or did they believe in God? What kind of shrine is this? <laughs> Very reminiscent of Clock Tower once again. I think there was a church like structure within Clock Tower as well. And I can't examine the altar, if you will. Must I sacrifice something here? Who knows? Oh! There is a button underneath the pew. Is there? I... I just randomly decided to examine this bench and found the button immediately? Talk about luck! I take everything back. There are multiple buttons. Let me guess if you enter the proper order, this very thing emerging is gonna slide out of the way. It is gonna reveal another basement. Alright, fine, whatever. We. The hole is too dark to see down. It is too dangerous to climb down. But you willingly jumped into any of the other holes. Why not this one? Uh, so many rooms. This looks like a diary, a journal. You are not even gonna grant me that. You won't give me some backstory about what's going on here. Ah, the Onis could attack at any moment. I am so s- <laughs> uh, Holy shit! Uh, 
Okay, this is their playground apparently. These are their hunting grounds. I am not safe anymore. I won't be safe anywhere. They own this fucking place. Did he come through the floor? Yes, he did. He was hiding underneath the floorboards. You diabolical son of a bitch. I don't believe this. I don't know what to believe anymore. Ah, a picture. A picture of um, one, two, three, four, five, die. Uh, one is missing. Every single die is showing me the number six. But one die is missing. Such a shame. Where could it be? Unlock the door. Good. What is this red line down here? A picture. Or rather, a frame without a picture. The picture has been removed or was never there to begin with. Uh, more and more puzzles. And I have got nothing. Not a single piece of the puzzle. Locked. Ah. Uh, Plenty of blue lines on the wall. I last saw the blue lines within the ordinary basement. <coughs> Here they are again. Which means I can probably move this. Or not. Huh. Lots and lots of squiggly lines. Hmm, they kind of end over here. Strange. This part of the wall looks different than the rest. The lines just end. It looks like they... Huh, it looks like they were cut off. Huh. Something seems off about this wallpaper. Let me guess, is the plate shard gonna serve me once more? Haha! <laughs> -ha. Damn secret doors everywhere! Good god! What do we have in here? An item over on the desk. <gasps> oh no! Something's coming! Don't kill me. Don't. <gasps> that was a new one. I heard the door of the other room open up. It, it came for me. It was searching for me. But I had just enough time to jump into the closet. Oh man. Hiding off screen, busting down doors, hiding within fireplaces, behind Japanese sliding doors, underneath the floorboards, etc., etc., eating that ladder. How intelligent are these bastards? Ah, don't linger. Time to leave. Um, 
Huh. Well. Uh. I am not often rendered speechless like this. Uh. I almost sounded like the grudge there. Uh, uh, what am I? What am I supposed to say to this? Calm down. Oh, calm down. Whatever the fuck this is supposed to mean, calm down. <laughs> Looks like one of the how onis just threw up all over the room. Or even worse, it ejaculated all over the room. Oh, why did I need to mention that? Uh, now I can't unsee it. Cannot be unseen. Such immature humor. But it calms me down. Jesus Christ! It didn't have enough time to cover the entire room with these squiggly lines. It, it didn't have the time. It... what the fuck happened in here? Oh, get me the item. Found the item, die. There it is. The missing die. Wonderful. Get me out of here. This room is now officially cursed. I, I, I don't want to know. I'll never wish to return. Uh, where's the die chamber at again? Ah, yes. Down here. Um, this die, however, is showing me the number one. Can I insert it, or will I need to turn it first? Aha! Um, isn't this supposed to be a code? Hold on. Ah, the benches within the church, within the chapel. Uh, I need to, I need to write this down, but I, I don't have a pen ready. Um, wait a second. Time to improvise. This is gonna work out, believe me. Um... Let us write that stuff down like this. You can't see what I am doing, but don't worry. I know exactly what I am doing. Three more symbols left to go. Two more. One more. There. Very well then, allow me to take a look at my um, note, if you will, and after that we shall call it a day. Number one. Hold on. Damn it. I confused my symbols. Let's try that again. Number one. Number uh, two. Number three. Number four. Number. Uh, did I do this? Oh, I did it wrong again. Uh, one final time. Come on now, Mr. TSC. Number one. Number two. 
number three, number four. Isn't this exactly the same when I just did? Uh, I can't even remember. My mind is all over the place. Number five. Last but not least, number six. Success! I still got it. Uh, the basement beneath the creepy church. Beneath the creepy chapel. What are these on the wall? A giant key? A shield? Leftovers of medieval times? Who knows where the hell I am right now? This old building is definitely associated with the mansion. Plenty of um, evidence that the Onis or the one Oni lives in here as well. Plenty of evidence indeed, the squiggly lines. And I am certain that this strange church has something to do with it. People once worshipped the Oni. Could that factor into it all? I don't know. This looks like a dungeon. Not like a basement, but more like a dungeon. <laughs> Catacombs. This must be a joke. And here... Here I thought the game was over. Twice already. I thought the game was over when we uh, stumbled upon the ladder. I thought it was over when I discovered the back door, but no! This game just keeps... keeps on going forever. <laughs> oh, it is dark. Still have my lighter, but... And this corridor... is as quiet as a graveyard. Hmm. Another pictureless frame with uh, very, uh, or I should say, partially visible lines. Looks like three pieces could fit in here. Uh, the puzzles, the puzzles everywhere. Why is it so quiet? A long corridor devoted to the silence. One door at the end. I must examine it, and then we shall call it a day for now. Hello? Oh, it is locked. But there are so many other rooms still. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, one and all, my very name has been The Shadow Cookie, and you have been watching Let's Play Ao Oni, episode number uh, 13. Recorded this on a Friday. Friday the 13th episode. And I am just sinking deeper and deeper into the insanity again. The timeless quicksand of madness. It threatens to consume my being. But Hiroshi cannot give up now. He has come so far. So far. Doesn't matter that his friends are dead. We have come so far. Haven't seen the new Aoni yet, the Takoro Aoni. God knows what that guy is currently up to, but oh well, I am digressing. <coughs> if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave me a like, perhaps even subscribe. If you desire to see more content like this in the future on my channel, don't forget though, it is only a suggestion, never an obligation. Uh, the Dark Corners of the Earth. Remember how I mentioned them when I was talking about how Ao Oni reminds me of Cthulhu and H.P. Lovecraft? This is such a corner. Nobody was supposed to ever lay eyes upon this strange basement again. But here I am. Yes, indeed, here I am. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>